This is how they keep the bombs out. Strangers! Strangers! Pinta! What do we do here, Jesse? Ah. She's still running. We come in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Don't they have more important things to worry about? Oh man, I love trivia. You do? Yes, it's so fun! Flexing those brain muscles, taking your mind off the incredible misery in the world, crushing down on you every... I mean, uh, oh, look at that. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. Most of my townspeople have never even been inside. Okay, let's do some trivia then. <laughs> That's the spirit. I wasn't sure an outsider would understand. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. The door stays locked until someone wins. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. The poor thing had no chance of growing down here. Might still be useful, though. Nice! There you are. Are you ready to begin? Uh, not quite yet. You are, wow, you are really cute. Oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. And you are a serious fetch artist. Go get it. You're a good dog. <laughs> 
So that's Fred, huh? Let me guess, Fred liked to paint with his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this. But these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? You craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done, prompt-like. <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. I don't have enough materials to make anything. Hey there, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet. But you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? Hey there, little guy. I got a game for you. Okay, you see that chicken? He loves playing chase. Go get him. Dog? What are you... Oh, no! Waffles! Waffles, come back! Come back! Waffles, huh? Fine, you got me. It's Waffles, all right. Chicken could never make a decision. Poor fella. these. Like water in a bucket becomes the bucket. Nice moves, Radar. You've been practicing. Oh, well, thanks. I didn't know you were... Uh, just want to be ready. Anyway, the Oasis and Fred's Keep are all, you know, kind of broken. But I wonder what this place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. It's up to us to protect them. We're the only thing standing between them and the admin. And we will. We'll make sure nothing bad happens to them. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. Uh, hey, Luna, come give me a, give me a hoof. Uh, weight resistance, you know. Uh, uh, oh my, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, baby, feel that bird. Oh, feel it. I'm feeling it. Feel it. Please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away, nice and non-threatening. Ah. 
Hi. Um. Oh, you want to know something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms super, super seriously. For serious. Cool. Yeah. Sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. What are you up to? Uh, uh huh. Uh, uh, oh. Just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks... I don't know. Uh, I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still... still with the admin or something. Hey, I know you better than anyone, right? You're still the same Petri you've always been. <laughs> Hard-headed? <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. That makes me feel better. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. The Creepers never even stood a chance. The leader of Dreshnagel Valley was not an emotional man. But that day, that day, he shed a tear. That's one way to gather information, I guess. All right, time to make a painting. Here you go, all done. <gasps> it's just lovely. I am going to paint this Fred's favorite color, not just any blue, lapis blue. Lapis blue. Oh, same color as my underwear. Mine too. <laughs> So... So you're the one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. Ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather! 
for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone! Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent! And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar! Begin! Nossa, eu não sou tão bom não. Ah não, mas tem a cabeça dele. Ô oh, droga. Ah, uh, say luck. Nice. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Puta Such merda, cara, dava pra fazer detail. isso. Dava pra construir pra cima. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue! That is correct! Well done! Next question! Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. 
his favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Silence, please. Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent, you might finally lose your title. <laughs> Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with, this was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. It's Birch. It's Birch! You... Uh... Yes! Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! Jesse won! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the uh, sleeping garments. <laughs> you would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs>